They're two of the most in-demand women in entertainment. And now Kristen Scott Thomas and Sharon Horgan are joining forces for a new film telling the true story of the first military wives' choir. Oh, oh that's so nice. lovely. We're joined now by uh, Kristen <laughs> and Sharon. Um, so we're, we're very lucky. The job we do, we, we've met Gareth a number of times. He set up the choir. We've met the ladies. We've heard them sing. Um, and we know so many of their stories. And essentially, this is a movie about people who wait. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what made me want to do it. Um, the, the idea of telling the story of the people, the families who are left behind mm -hmm. while their spouses um, are off doing, we all know, incredibly dangerous things. Um, and I think it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a story, it's a subject that isn't talked about enough. And I think that the, well, the fact that they had this wonderful choir that was so successful and have made so many other choirs, because all over the country now, there are how many? I think there's 75, 75 so? military yeah. wives choirs yeah. now. And it all That's started amazing. from that, that one. And so what was the reaction when you saw the script for the first time? I think, you, you, I I think, think we one both, of you said it messed up your head. It did. I think we both had the same reaction, which is, you know, you read a lot of scripts and, and you kind of... You, you sort of know how a script can kind of sometimes manipulate you if it's a certain kind of story, but we were both kind of uh, really moved by mm. it. Mm. And that was the same reaction I had when I, when I saw the sort of finished film. It's... I mean, there's a lot of joy in it and, you know... It's all about friendship, really, and, and camaraderie and kind of coming together at a really difficult time to take their minds off something that they've got no control over. But it's that friendship and camaraderie that kind of gets them through it. And singing. Mm. And singing, as yeah. if something as simple as singing. But um, th the relationship between your two characters doesn't necessarily start out with friendship at the very beginning. So we should just explain a little bit about who you play. So uh, Kate, first of all, to explain who she wife. is. Yes, I'm Colonel's wife. wife. So she's so kind of... The highest ranking rank civilian, is she? Yes. <laughs> she <laughs> really thinks she's really all that. Basically. Well, I'm just trying to do my job, basically. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, and poor Kate, you know, she's having a, a, she's having a really rough ride and um, it's the fifth time that her family have been out um, on tour um, and um, she, she kind of... She, over, she overcomes this terror and this fear and this horror of waiting um, by being incredibly bossy. Right. And telling everybody yeah. what, exactly what she thinks she should be doing and trying to organise everybody. So by keeping everyone else yeah. together, she's keeping yeah. her own head together exactly. a little bit. Yeah. And, and whereas your character is, is different to that, isn't she, Lisa? Yeah, I mean, she's someone who just got knocked up by a squaddy, really. Right. And, and, <laughs> and sort of finds herself in this situation. But her husband has been promoted over the years and uh, he's a sergeant major, so she's RSM's wife. And suddenly she has this responsibility, but she kind of doesn't know what to do it. She, mm -hmm. You know, she's friends with the women but she's not quite able to, you know, gather them together and get their, their minds off it. And then you boss your way into yeah. it. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, they decide to, to do the, uh, the choir, which I will call a singing club only, because I don't <laughs> like the sound, the sound of a choir. And, I mean, there's loads of friction at the start, which is the most fun stuff to play. It was really good fun. We did have a good time. Yeah. Um, and so what about the singing, then? Are you, um, would you describe yourselves as natural singers? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very gifted vocally. Uh, no, I would say both of us would describe well, started, ourselves as no, non-singers. I started off thinking, oh, this is going to be great. I'm going to be really, really singing. And then I saw myself gradually get demoted to going... <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> so I felt, yeah. But what was lovely is that you kind of understood what it felt like for those women, because when it... Get when it's right and yeah. when everybody sings at the same time, something quite magical it's, happens. It really does. It's, it's really a, nuts. Yeah. And we, we kind of uh, had a... You, we felt a bit down when we left the film because you're used to that every day, you're used to having that, that amazing group of women around you and genuinely the friendship and camaraderie that comes from that, just, yeah. you know, as a group of actors together, but also just singing because you always sound better in a group and you end up... <laughs> relying on other people and, you know... And what was really great is there are, there are members of our choir, of our cast, who are actually really good singers. Oh, yeah. Um, and they were so supportive and sort of helped all the rest of us, well, rest of us, well, me in particular, sort of limping <laughs> along. Um, <laughs> thinking, oh, this is going to be lovely. And actually, it was much, much, much harder than we thought. We'd all get genuinely thrilled when it sounded and good. And it sounded yeah. so great. Yeah. And you just get goosebumps. Yeah. In fact, I... Yeah. Oh, Watching that lovely. Bit. I know. Well, but our, our director lovely. didn't want us practising at all because no. he wanted it to be as it was in, in real life. And they weren't professional singers, that yeah. choir, you know. 
And so if he caught us doing any little crazy bits, stop, 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 it's way too good. We all... <laughs> well, he, sort of, he wanted us to get better over time because yeah. the, the, the scene in the Royal Albert Hall was one that we shot, was it yeah. the, like the last day? Yeah. I think it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was like to build to that where we actually became kind of Quite competent. Good. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, it's it's very something really else for the CV, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, singing was always on there. <laughs> but so, but sword it... fighting, horse riding, singing. Yeah. <laughs> German. I do typing and hold champagne glasses. <laughs> oh, I think I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but it certainly has made me uh, sort of wish somewhere in my life I had um, the opportunity and time to get involved with the really, choir. Yeah. I think yeah. it's a really lovely thing to be involved with. Well, you have, yeah. you have a military background, don't you? Family yeah, military, naval, so yeah. Naval yeah, background, yeah. So naval background. I spent part of my childhood on, on one of those um, patches you know, where they live, the, yeah. the, um, the, what do they call it? Military base. Military base. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so useful to have a friend. <laughs> <laughs> so you, but, but uh, a, a tragic um, yeah. naval, naval background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my father was, um, was killed in a, in a training accident um, in 1966 when I was five, and then my mother married another pilot who was killed um, in 1972. So you were around about 11. I mean, you were I was with 11. your mum. Yeah. I don't know how. To yes, I don't know how she did like it that. either. I really don't know how she did it, but she did. Yeah. And yeah. She, there are five of us, and um, you know everything's great. Yeah. But none of us have gone into the forces. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Well, when you've lived through something like that, and for you, I mean, you're sort of doing the acting side of it and sort of leaving the writing behind for a bit, but. I imagine the writing is kind of your natural habitat, really. Yeah, it is. Escape. Well, we both kind of got a bit involved. Well, we, but... we had a very good relationship yes. with Rachel Tunnard, who was, um, who was the writer um, uh, when we were there. It had originally been written by... Oh, my God, I've, I've forgotten. forgotten. Please Shame on me. us. Shame on us. Um, but uh, <laughs> we... Um, we, so we did a lot of work together to find the right voices for these people. Yeah. Um, and um, it was really a really creative process. I really enjoyed it. Mm. Um, but at the same time, it's a in. really nice sort of busman's holiday to just go in and do something that, at the end of, end of the day, it's someone else's responsibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah Really. Sure. So when you turn up to watch it, you're kind of seeing it for the first time. But yeah. also what's great is, um, I like, a really powerful female cast yeah. as well. Um, and, and I know that you're both sort of very actively involved in wanting to make sure that that happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, absolutely. I mean, in, in any way we can, just sort of working with female directors and working with scripts that are, you know, um, um, female written, you know, as much as you can, just to, because, it, I mean, it just addresses the balance a little and mm -hmm. it means that the work is, is better and more varied and it just... Female characters, especially, I think, are yeah, we better need the when stories. We need the women. stories um, that will um, invite other women to to be on board of projects. Mm. Already, we're seeing it more in um, on the set. You see far more women on the set than you used to, technicians and crew and people. But it's the directors. We don't get. We haven't got the directors yet. We mm. need more directors, and we need more writers to write stories about women who aren't necessarily suffering, but mm -hmm. who, are, who are just doing things and not women who are, um, you know, sort of tragic in some way. Let's have some really good positive um, uh, role, roles for, 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 for young girls to, to look up to, for yeah. young girls to admire. Yeah. Uh, no, no, absolutely. So. No, it's getting there, I think, agree more. slowly but surely. But we are it's getting, getting there, yeah. but it's really uphill. I think it's about just not um, relaxing with it, yeah. you know, because you think there's a big change and everyone goes, we're fine, yeah. and then yeah. suddenly all this... Well, this is of... a, a, prime, a great example, um, uh, and it's uh, uh, Military Wives uh, is uh, in cinemas from the 6th of March, and thank you both. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.